Hi there, this is Linda from Campanella Creations, and I'm going to show you how I put together my illumination lamp base. I took some old flooring, um, sliced it in half, or sliced it a little uh, sliver off the top. Okay, this is where my acrylic is going to sit in here. I'm going to sand this all down. It's coated right now, so. But first, I have to prepare it. This is where the LED strip is going to lay and I was practicing my soldering. Um, I have another piece where everything is going to sit and again obviously I have to clean this all up by sanding once it's all glued together. Um, so right now I want to get my LED tape sitting in here in this little strip that I have and I have an, I used a, my laser engraver to cut these. Um, and before I glue the top on, I want the LED base in there, so I have to prepare it first. Um, so here's, I drilled some holes because the battery that I'm using and the switch I'm using is going to sit down in the in the base, down in there, okay? So I'm leading the, um, the battery connection up through the holes so I can make it to the LED strip. First you have to prepare your uh, for soldering, and this is my first time, so I had to practice a little bit. You have to prepare both ends. You have to prepare the wire with a little solder and um, your receiver, which is the LED tape. And uh, to do that, you use the soldering iron and some resin. Um, is it called rosin? Okay, it's my first time. So you wanna heat um, the receiving part you want to get that nice and hot, but not too hot to ruin the electrical connection in there because it is electrical, but you do want to get it hot. And then you put a little dab of solder on there. There we go. Perfect. All right, now let's take a closer look at that. Let's see here. How do we get that focused? focus here. Can you see that? Um, hmm. Camera doesn't seem to be focusing. Can you see those? Okay, little dabs of solder. All right, so, and these wires were pre-tinned, so I don't have to add any solder to them, but I guess I could add a little just to make sure that they're ready to go. There's a positive and negative side to your LED base or your LED uh, strip and you, you get the wire hot a little bit and then you put the there we go got it oops you didn't get to see that sorry I'll do the other one alright so I'm getting the wire hot and I'm putting the rosin on the other side of the wire. Mm, come on, get up there. The top here. Oh, it's dripping down. It's falling down. I'm gonna bend it a little bit. Well, it might still work. We will find out. Now, I'm going to take my, for me, I'm going to choose red to be my positive, And I'm going to heat the two connections. And you want to hold it there until they um, fuse together and dry. You don't want to move the part. Let's see. Can you see? OK. Okay, I'll move it there and hold it there for a second. Blow on it. Okay, let's see. Let's see here. Now the black. Okay, it's in there. Oh, 
Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is test it to see if um, if I did a good job. And if I did, I have my... These are 12 volt. Uh, it says on there 12 volts, but I am using such a small portion that it will work with the 9 volt battery. And I like to do it with batteries so you can put it anywhere and not have to worry about your electrical cords. I guess I should have had my batteries out and ready to go. Oof, there we go. All right, so. All right. Okay, let's see. First of all, they light up. Oh, there we go. Good. I got a good connection. Can you see that? Perfect. Now, I'm going to take and I'm going to hot glue this strip down in my base. Very exciting. It to lay nicely all the way at the end. Okay. And I have my hot glue gun ready to go. It's been spilling out glue the last. There we go. Hold it down there. Doesn't matter because it's all going to be covered up and glued up anyway. Okay, just to keep it nice and tight. I'm going to put a little hot glue on these wires as well so nothing, nothing can tug on them and move them and disconnect them. It'll be nice and stable in there. Hot glue is very hot, so be careful to not burn yourself. Blow it. Okay, that was my first time soldering, and I did it, so so can you. Okay, now, uh, because I want to use a switch, okay, I have to um, make a connection there too. So I'm going to cut the black wire and strip it. And make a little, I'm going to do it closer down here so it sits, eh, I guess it doesn't matter. Cut it right in the middle. Got to, got to clean the ends a little bit here. So just lightly, uh, you want to, I use scissors, strip off this. Don't cut too much because it'll cut your wire. There's actually um, wire strippers. Makes it nice. <laughs> but I can't find them. It's coming. I'm going very light because I don't want to cut the wires. There we go. There it is twist it. You have to do both sides. This one's going a little easier. Much easier with the wire strippers, but Kind of forgot. There you go. All right, twist. Now I also bought some heat shrink so that I can cover. 
here it is, um, so that I can cover these wires once I solder them and they're not exposed under there. So I'm going to cut a little piece off and slip it on my wire first. Like this. I don't even need that much. I can save some, I think, and do like this. Cut it in half. Okay, because you put it on both sides. Now we have to prepare these wires as well with a little solder. So, where's my, what did I do with that wire? I think when the batteries fell, it knocked my wire somewhere. I'll do this one first. I think my, there we go. There you go. Okay, and I don't know if you could see that. So I'm putting this, the iron underneath the wire and I'm touching the solder above the wires because I want them to melt in. There you go. Oop, stuck. There you go. You're supposed to take the, the solder away before you take the heat source away. But that was got stuck. Now I gotta, I'll put a little, I'll do these as well. Let me see, let me turn you this way so you can, you can work right here. Okay, not sure if you can see this. Hmm. Went up. Off. Oh. So I'm going to put the soldering wire, the soldering iron underneath, and I'm going to drop the You know what? I'm going to actually, because I want a straight thing, I'm going to take this tip off. There we go. I'm going to do it like this. Come on, let's get hot here. The wires have to be hot enough to, to conduct the heat through and melt the solder right through it so it gets all in there. taking a while. Once it gets hot, it goes very fast. So I found out. Come on, baby, let's go. I'm going to I'm going to hold this to this really a long time to get it nice and hot. Come on now.
I'm going to cheat. I'm going to try to melt the... Okay. Okay, so that looks good. That's good. Yeah, it went all the way through. It's melted completely on. I don't know if you can see that. All right. Now let's do the other one. Get it nice and hot. Although that didn't really work for me last time, but I'll do it anyway, because that's what you're supposed to do. I'm supposed to twist them together as well, but... Maybe that'll make a difference. I'm, I'm cheating. I'm going on the top of it already, although that's not working. The wire has to be hot enough for it to melt through all the fibers to really make a good connection. This is taking longer than it should. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Perfect. Awesome. Okay, now... Now I'm going to connect, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter because they're both going to black. So now I'm going to heat this together since they both have solder on them. Fuse them together, hold it still. Okay, that worked. I hope you saw that. Okay, now we're going to the other side. And okay. Okay. Good. There we go. Melted the, melting the solders together. So hopefully that's good. I guess we're gonna find out. We'll see in a second. I'm going to try this again. Where's my open battery? Okay, so I don't know if the battery's on. Oh yeah, it's working. Perfect. Now I want to make sure that these stay nice and sealed. I put pull my little heat shrink over it, and I have a hot, hot gun. My little Zappo that I got when I was doing a lot of other crafts. It's nice and hot. Heat shrink that on. This is so exciting. Nice and tight. Okay, let's do the other connection. Slide it right over. I love all this fun stuff. All right. Now, we're on our way. Okay, the next step is to uh, turn off my soldering gun. That's for one. I think you're supposed to clean and kind of re-solder the tip, so I'll do that so it doesn't oxidize. So I'll put a little solder on there. I, I don't know how it stays. I don't. It just beads up on me, so I'm not quite sure. I'll have to go down to the hardware store and see what they're talking about. Um, let me unplug that. I can unplug my glue gun. All right, make sure I'm safe. Okay, my next step is to now Use some uh, wood glue, glue and clamp these together, and I will have to uh, let that happen and come back for the next portion of this, okay? 
when we're sanding it. So I'm going to glue them all together. I'll tape this all up there so that it's in there and not in the way because then I have to do a lot of sanding. Okay, so, but it's going to be, it's going to be glued together. Hopefully you won't see any of these joints once it's all nice and tightly clamped together and sanded all nicely. And uh, see, it's going to sit all under here. And if I really feel like it, maybe I'll, um, maybe I'll cut a hole so that the switch is on the base. And that's what I really want to do. So, but, and it'll sit up here. It's going to look great. I'll come back. Hi there, I'm back. I have sanded this whole thing. It looks great. Look at that. It looks awesome. One mistake I made, because I always make mistakes on the first things that I do, is I, I should have sanded the pieces to make sure they were really straight. Because now I have this hole. And um, I don't know, maybe I could get some sawdust and push it in there and then stain the whole thing, because I am going to stain it. Um, but... Maybe I'll try that, we'll see. Uh, made a little hole for this um, on off button and I'll hot glue that into place, okay? And I'll get back to you and show you what the final product looked like. Thanks for watching. Hi there, this is Linda with Campanella Creations. I just wanted to get back to you and show you the finished product here um, on the dolphin uh, illumination base. There's the dolphin. Um, recall we had to sand it all down and restain it those three pieces remember so I sand it you can see a little bit of the edge there but it really looks awesome um, and here's what I did underneath is I wanted a way to make sure it uh, didn't fall apart when you were putting it down so I just tacked in a little piece of wood and it's just right there so you can get to everything to change the battery. And it stays in nice. This won't scratch any kind of desks or tabletops. It's nice and smooth. And uh, there you have it. There it is. Nice and shiny. Let's see. And you set it right in there. There you go. Thanks for watching.